I'm starting my vlog today. <laughs> You're not recording. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. You can't just say welcome back to my channel when you haven't had any videos before. <laughs> I'll do what I want. I'm going to take you on my cruise contract from Bora Bora to Auckland. I haven't backed yet. <laughs> First vlog, episode one. Uh, today I'm taking you to Bora Bora via Auckland and Tahiti. There's a few stops, a few flights, and we're gonna join the celebrity cruiser ship, Celebrity Solstice. The airport at Bora Bora is on an island that you have to get a boat ferry thing to the mainland. I'm staying here like an Airbnb with a host that's supposed to pick me up in Bora Bora and take me to their place. Sometimes it's just crazy, it's such an adventure. And it is a beautiful day here in Tahiti, 30 degrees. Had a super early start this morning. Up at 10 past six New Zealand time, which is about three hours ahead of Australia. So it felt like 10 past three a.m. And then had to get back to the airport for my flight to Tahiti. And it is at three or four thirty the day before. So I left on Monday morning and I'm now back on Sunday afternoon. So that's weird. Last time I was in Tahiti, I had just got off a ship and I was flying up to Honolulu. My agent hadn't sent the proof of onward travel. So I didn't have anything to prove that I was leaving the country once I got there. And the lady at the check-in counter here wouldn't let me on the flight without proof of me leaving Honolulu. Long story short, I ended up having to buy a $1,500 flight one way from Honolulu to Sydney just to prove that I was going to leave and then I had to cancel it and get refunded. The time before that, I was coming into Tahiti from New Zealand and I had a quick connecting flight and so my bag didn't end up with me in Tahiti so I was without my bag for about 24 hours. Luckily there was enough time between me arriving and getting on the ship for that bag to come across from New Zealand but it did make it just in time. So, and then the first time I was here I was leaving Tahiti and my check-in bag was too heavy so at the check-in counter they made me empty kind of a quarter of my bag uh, into a couple of Woolworths reusable bags that I had with me. So I looked really great going on the plane carrying my carry-on luggage, which at the time was a backpack and a couple of all these bags of undies and um, dirty socks. Uh, so that was the first three times and this is the fourth time and I thought that I would just be able to nail it. I thought I had got away easy, I thought I had learned from my mistakes, but uh, they got me. Because I'm on a small propeller plane flight from Tahiti to Bora Bora, the cabin is a lot smaller and so my cabin baggage doesn't fit in the overhead locker so I had to check that in but luckily I had learned from the Woolies bag incident and had a spare emergency bag in my carry-on that I could put a few things in and take on the plane and then check in my uh, carry-on baggage so not as bad as the first three times not as bad so I have three hours here now till I jump on another flight to Bora Bora the flight gets into Bora Bora at about 10 past 7. It's either going to make for great video or it's going to be pitch black and you won't be able to see anything. So you'll just have to stay tuned and find out because I don't I don't know what I don't know what it will look like. But we'll see. So 
So just landed, got the ferry shuttle to the mainland, met my lodge host. We've just pulled in for pizza at this little place here on the side of the road. It's like eight o'clock at night, but everything's pretty closed. And um, then I'll go and find out where I'm staying tonight. <laughs> It's, uh, it's about 8 a.m. local time, four hours ahead of Sydney, but the day before, so it's about 4 a.m. Tuesday, Sydney time, and, uh, looks like I have boobs. Came in last night in the dark, so I haven't seen anything. You know those holidays where you come into a place in the dark and you can't see a view or you can't see what the go is anywhere. I'm staying in this kind of Airbnb lodge thing with a couple other people and there's breakfast on outside. Gonna get up and see what the go is. <laughs> Tea, spreads, ham, cheese, tea. Had an amazing breakfast this morning at the house. Decided to come and check out the Intercontinental Resort. Grab some lunch and hang out for the afternoon. I'm just chilling in these crystal clear blue waters. It's incredible. Amazing. Just taking a cheeky dip in the pool before I go. I'm not actually staying at the Intercontinental, so it's been nice hanging out here this afternoon. <laughs> I've just walked out and how's this sunset over here? You can see it on my face. Last day today in Bora Bora. About to head back to the port and meet celebrity Solstice. Bora Bora is a tender port, which means a little boat, a little tender, will take me out to the ship. We'll have a bit of an explore once we get there, a bit of a look around. I haven't been on celebrity Solstice before. I haven't seen the theatre, so uh, it'll be pretty exciting. Fun day. Let's go. Yeah. All right, we're getting in for a photo. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not perfect. Now, thank you. 
So I've just arrived on Celebrity Solstice and I've got my welcome letter. Turns out my show is tonight, so I need to get ready. I've got a rehearsal in four hours. Uh, I need to go and iron some shirts and warm up and do all those bits and pieces pre-show. Uh, rehearsal's at 4.30 and I've got a show at 7 p.m. and a show at 9 p.m. tonight. It's not often, it's the first day of me being here that I have to do a show. Usually I've got one or two days to get in the swing of things, but tonight we're straight into it. So that should be fun. Elisa gets it done and dusted. Plenty to do, so uh, see you soon. Okay, here we are at the theatre. Here we are in the Solstice Theatre, getting ready for rehearsal this afternoon for Kings of the Keys. I've got the sound desk right here, got laptop set up with some of the backing tracks that we use. Got the team on stage getting the piano in position. Uh, we're about 20 minutes away from band turning up and doing a run through. So we've got about two hours where we'll use about an hour and a quarter of that to run the show top to bottom without dialogue or the songs once through. It's pretty exciting, uh, sometimes a bit nerve wracking, but there's always a red hot band on these ships. So it's gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna go and keep getting ready. set up here. All right, ready to play. Ready to play, fam. Okay, just finished rehearsal. I'm gonna go grab something to eat, have a shower, get changed, and then uh, we're doing the first show on Celebrity Solstice. Oh, what a day. Finished rehearsal about an hour ago. Just getting ready here backstage in the dressing room. Showtime is in about 10 minutes. Band sounds great. Show feels good. I'm really tired. Got my jackets ready for tonight. We start off with Billy Joel. So it's a bit of a nod to Billy. We've got kind of the gray sports coat, right? We start off with that. And then second half of the show, we do a quick change into the Elton John jacket. So that's a bit of fun. This is probably the, about the 12th time I've done this version of the show, which is Kings of the Keys, a Billy Joel and Elton John only show. Short 45 minute show, 16 songs with a bit of dialogue throughout. But this is actually the first time that I've done a new version of the show that I've been working on throughout the winter. Um, I shortened a bunch of the songs, added in a couple more songs. So now it's super punchy. So it should be really fun to see how that goes tonight. But let's go out there, let's do it. It's gonna be fun.
one round. We won. I did it. Two shows down. Done, done, done. That was an epic day. Happy audience. Happy cruise director. Happy band. Happy production team. Happy guests. Everyone seems like they enjoyed the show, which is great. So I've now got a couple of days off and I'll just show you kind of what I get up to. But I'm going to bed now. So, see ya. Good morning. It is Thursday today on Celebrity Solstice. I'm gonna head to the gym, I head to the spa, I head to the pool, and get some dinner in the dining room. We've got a cast production show this evening, so we'll go and check one of those out. It should be a fun day. I'm joking, I'm, I'm joking, got ya. That burger was alright, you know. It wasn't in and out, it wasn't a Shake Shack. It had jalapenos on it, tomato, lettuce, cheese, and a whole lot of hot sauce. So it's pretty good. It was alright. Oh, it's a bit cold. <laughs> I don't get, I get the grumpy when they find out that someone else is being. Yeah. 
so you can't. It's a free sample. Oh. Yeah. So we should think about a set list for that. doing this too long to know. Yeah. It's like warm apple pie. Oh. Just got back from dinner with Danny Elliott and Andy Joy, who are two of the other guest entertainers who are on the cruise at the moment. Andy did a great show last night. Danny's on in a couple of days' time. Tomorrow, Andy and I are actually doing a split show matinee, so 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. I'm doing a 20-minute set. He's doing a 20-minute set, both in the main theatre. The audiences for both our shows had a fantastic time, and we both keep getting comments around the ship of people really really excited so he's gonna do a 20 minute peter allen set i'm gonna do half of my second show which has i do anything for love and bohemian rhapsody walking in memphis the way it is and let it be so that will be really fun so at this point in the cruise we're actually about to cross the international date line so this is a, an imaginary line that separates the two consecutive calendar days. So today it is Thursday the 3rd of October and when we wake up tomorrow it will actually be Saturday the 5th of October. So we're skipping Friday. Friday for us does not exist. So when I flew over the dateline to get to Tahiti I went back a day and had two Mondays essentially, but uh, right now I'm about to lose a Friday. So that is part of the fun of cruising, skipping days, adding days, especially in this part of the world. So about to head to bed. Rehearsal tomorrow is at 12.30. Great to get the show done and dusted by about 3.30 in the afternoon. And it should be a full house tomorrow. We've got one show. It's a matinee. There's nothing else happening at that time. There's two guest entertainers on the same bill. So it should be a really packed house, which will make for a really, really great show. Really looking forward to it. It will be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what happens. Ready for round two. Second show. Split show with Andy Joy. Ready to rock and roll. Second show. Here we go, finished rehearsal, ready to go. House is filling up, good crowd today. Please welcome to stage the very talented Liam Cooper! The next song I want to play for you is uh, from 1991 by a man named Mark Cohn, and it's a song called Walking in Memphis. <laughs>
It is a cold and foggy day coming into Auckland this morning. I've just finished packing my bags. I'll get some breakfast and then disembark the ship probably about 11 o'clock. Flight this afternoon from Auckland to Sydney is at 4 p.m. There's not much point trying to hang around in the city. I've got both my bags with me, so I need to find somewhere to store there, but I've probably only got about an hour or two. So I'll probably just head out to the airport and sit there and work on my vlog. Getting into Sydney about 5.30 local time with the time difference and the three and a half hour flight back. And then I think Amy will pick me up and then I'll head home and that'll be it. That's the end of the cruise. That's work done for the week. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I've got a day off tomorrow at home, doing some washing, clearing out uh, everything I've packed. And then on Wednesday, Amy and I together are heading up to Daydream Island in the Whit Sundays, which will be super fun. I'm playing the piano up there, doing a piano bar gig nightly for the week. So that'll be vlog episode two. Beautiful weather up there, about 30 degrees and sunny every day. So join me for that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.